Okay, so I see someone here who's followed their calling. I've just heard that your status or your status has sort of elevated. So you're someone who's definitely been working on their life purpose. But I've got an energy here of the hermit. Hermit mode is significant. So you could be in isolation at the moment because your main focus is your journey, your spiritual journey, your path. That's what I'm picking up on here. And I'm seeing that you could be light path nine. That's significant or the number nine is significant. But you're definitely being guided and you're following your calling at this time. I also see someone trying to come back into your life. I'm seeing someone trying to enter your life from your past. This is someone from your past who keeps trying to bother you. I'm seeing inserting is significant. So this person may be trying to forcefully sort of move to you. I'm seeing a lot of messages, a lot of calls. Messages are significant. This could be social media that this person keeps trying to connect with you. I'm hearing contact you and I'm also hearing contact information. So this person sort of gathered up a lot of information about you. Your socials are significant. So this person could be bothering you on your social media. That's what I'm hearing here. If they're not watching you, they're messaging you. If they're not watching, they're liking, they're following. They're, they could even be hiding this, but they're definitely watching your every move or trying to connect with you on different sort of platforms. I also feel like you could have a platform. I'm getting that energy of the high priestess, even though I haven't pulled that card. But you're someone who's very intuitive and you could have some sort of social media where you put out, you know, spiritual information or you're some sort of guide yourself. That's what I'm hearing here. But you're definitely walking towards your purpose and you could have children with this past person. I'm picking that up as well. So I definitely feel like this is someone who could have left you for somebody else. This person could have moved on, started a new family. I'm seeing that as well. And now they're coming back towards you because of your status change. That's what I'm hearing here. And I'm hearing do not go backwards. Do not look back to the past because I definitely feel like you completed some sort of karmic cycle with this person and you've been through a lot and you've been through a journey to find your purpose. You could be following your natal chart or that is significant, but you're definitely someone who's on their life path and they're following some sort of guidance here. I definitely feel like you could have been gifted a twin flame, so you could be on the twin flame journey as well. And you've definitely, you know, you've advanced in every area of your life. So you've been chosen here and you've definitely elevated and moved forward and learned a lot of lessons throughout your journey. That's what I'm picking up on here. You're someone who's heading towards physical union with your twin flame. And that's, you know, something that may have enticed this person back towards you because they can see that you're moving on or you're moving forward in life with somebody new. So I definitely feel like this person, you know, they want to try and block you in some sort of way. They're heading back towards you and you know that they're sort of wanting to get back with you. But at the same time, I'm hearing not to look back and I'm hearing don't look any further. So I definitely feel like this is like a warning message because I definitely feel like you're considering going backwards here. And I definitely feel like you're someone 
who, you know, you're quite angry with this past person, they could have cheated on you, because I definitely see a third party energy, and I definitely feel like this person really hurt you, and you've got a lot of resentment towards them, so I definitely feel like you're someone here who's thinking about seeking revenge on this person by going back to them and treating them the way they treated you and i'm hearing don't become the person that hurt you so this is significant because i definitely feel like this will throw you off your life path this will sort of slow down or block your twin flame. I'm hearing ascension here. So you're very close to union with your twin flame, like I just said. But at the same time, you're harboring a lot of trauma, which is like turning into resentment. And it's definitely turning into like, you know, an energy of, shall I sort of seek revenge and play this person back now that they want me that's what I'm picking up here so you're definitely considering you know backtracking just to hurt somebody back that's what I'm picking up on here and spirits advising you not to do this because I definitely see another toxic cycle that you're about to turn back to and spirit show me a narcissistic person here who could be narcissistically injured and this is someone who you would go back to and have you know not only get played but you know you're looking to play a narc so i definitely feel like this is a bad idea here i'm seeing nothing but brokenness as a result of this seeing nothing but trauma i'm seeing someone here who will bleed you dry i'm hearing your worth i'm hearing penniless energy this person is some sort of sucker they know every trick in the book every sort of gimmick they know the tricks that's what i'm hearing here they know how to play you and at the same time you're looking to play them so it's just a devilish sort of energy that you're looking to sort of go into go back towards when you have ascended and evolved so much that this would block your progress this could even hinder you being the divine feminine that you are and send you into the energy of you know the empress in reverse which is like a low vibrational empress so you know spirit sort of showing me here to tell you to forget the past learn from it you know heal from the pain that you've been through so this could be working on your root chakra to release whatever sort of resentment whatever sort of anger you're holding on to about this past sort of affair energy it's time to release this with no regrets you learn what you learn you've taken with you the lessons that's what i'm hearing here you're heading towards blessings at this time you've built you know a solid foundation on your own and spirits encouraging you to continue to do that work because to go backwards would deplete you i'm seeing i just heard sucker fish and then i heard puffer fish so i definitely feel like someone will deflate you blow you up sort of love bomb you and then sort of deflate you and i'm hearing someone has a very sort of strong ego they're egotistical and they will break you down that's what i'm hearing here at the same time you will end up having to go through a series of karmic lessons because you will work up a karmic debt i'm hearing rack up a karmic debt and you'll have to pay it back so you're only going backwards in this energy and it's very toxic it's very sort of you know i'm seeing like an alligator sort of snapping like it's very sort of harmful energy that i'm getting here whereas you have someone who's a divine masculine who's waiting for you to complete a karmic cycle 
so that he can come towards you. So you're definitely heading towards your divine masculine, your real true king of cups energy. This is real true love here. And you know, to go backwards just to hurt someone back would be like playing devil's advocate. That's what I'm hearing here. Spirit saying, do not go down that road. Do not get possessed. That's what I'm hearing. So I'm getting an energy of possession by a demon here. So I definitely feel like your ex is harboring some sort of demonic vibration here, which will completely rip your soul apart. And you could lose your position. You could lose your, you know, your level that you've climbed to in advancement here. So, you know, I'm going to leave it there. But if this is your reading, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe.